Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss some probability examples on combinations. In our previous class, we have done some examples on union and some of them on cards, playing cards. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, so we will take the example and understand probability examples and combinations. A bag contains 8 black balls and 6 green balls. Find the probability of drawing two balls of same color. So you, we are having a bag and that bag contains eight black balls and six green balls. If you randomly pick two balls from the bag, what is the probability that those two balls are of same color? Either it is two, two balls should be black or it should be green. That is what the question here is. So in order to do this type of uh, problems, we will go with combinations logic. Uh, so in our, uh, in our plus 1 and plus 2, we have discussed about uh, uh, permutations and combinations. Uh, if you are not good at what permutations and combinations means, please uh, visit our uh, playlist uh, aptitude for placement and uh, competitive exams playlist. There we have discussed about permutations and combinations. Uh, please uh, watch those uh, permutations and combinations and come back here because we are going to use much these permutations and combinations in our coming examples we, we are going to refresh the concept of combinations once for a minute then we go into the uh, our probability subject uh, because this is the first class on combinations we are going to refresh the concept of combinations uh, so let's take a uh, combinations and permutations uh, so in a bag we are having eight black balls and green uh, six green balls uh, so let's assume that we are having eight black balls for understanding purpose we have mentioned uh, one two we have given the numbers Usually we don't have numbers, so 8 black balls are there. So how many ways we can select 2 black balls? That is what the combinations means. How many combinations are there? If you want to select 2 balls, for, two black balls from this 8 black balls, how many combinations are there? 1, 2, this is one combination. 1, 3, this is another combination. 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, 1, 7, 1, 8. Next combinations are 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, 2, 7, 2, 8. Similarly, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6, 3, 7, 3, 8, 4, 5, 4, 6, 4, 7, 4, 8. These are all the different combinations. Finally, we'll have 7, 8. So total, how many combinations are there? 28 combinations are there. So this is provided with an equation. So out of 8 balls, we have to select 2 balls, 8C2. These are all the different combinations. 8C2 is given as 8 multiplied by 7 divided by 2 multiplied by 1. That is equal to 28. We got the same number. How many different combinations are there? How many ways we, how many different combinations are possible to select two black balls? 28 combinations are there. Similarly, we got the same answer 28. This is what combinations means. We will use the concept of combinations here in our probability. So in our in our bag in the in a, in a bag we are having eight black balls and six green balls. If you randomly select two balls, what is the probability that both are of same color? See, first we have to identify the sample space. Sample space is equal to total how many balls are there in a, in the bag? Eight plus six that is fourteen balls are there. Out of that fourteen, we have to select two. So total combinations are 14 C2. Our sample space is having uh, what are the possible outcomes uh, that are present in our sample space? 14 C2 possibilities are there. Out of that, uh, our event uh, E1 is given as two black balls. Uh, what are the how many ways it is going to happen to pick two black balls? Eight black balls are there. Two, eight C2. Event two is given as two green balls. Six green balls are there. Six C2. These two events are mutually exclusive events. Their intersection is empty. If they are mutually exclusive event means disjoint sets. If it is disjoint sets, uh, what's the equation? Probability of even is given as 8C2 divided by 14C2. This is our event divided by sample space. Probability of E2 is given as 6C2 divided by 14C2. These two events are mutually exclusive disjoint sets. So probability of E1 union E2 means either this or that. 
that is what the meaning of e1 union union e2 is equal to probability of e1 plus probability of e2 this mutual exclusion is discussed in our last class previous classes uh, that is equal to 8c2 by 14c2 plus 16c2 6c2 by 14c2 this is what the final probability value is uh. So now coming to the next example, a box contains 6 green, 4 white, 5 black balls, randomly pick 4 balls. In a bag we are having 6 green balls, 4 white balls, 5 black balls. If you randomly pick 4 balls from the bag, find the probability that among the balls drawn there is 1 ball of each color. You randomly pick 4 balls each color should be involved in that uh, four balls that is what the question here is uh, so in a bag we are having six green five black four white total how many balls are there 15 balls are there what's our sample space 15 c4 that is what our sample space is uh, just the combination concept uh, out of 15 we have to select four how many possibilities are there 15 c4 possibilities are there so our chances what's our events are one green one white two black this is one of the chance one green two white one black this is another chance two green one white one black this is the third chance these are all the possibilities uh, which we are having at least ball of each color so event e1 e2 e3 all these events are mutually exclusive events either this event can happen or this event or this event this is given as probability of e1 union e2 is equal to probability of e1 plus e2 plus probability of e3 so now how to write that one green one white two black for this probability is given as see here 6 e1 because 6 green balls are there out of that we have to select one one green so what is the probability what are, how many combinations are there 6 c1 combinations multiplied by 4 white balls are there out of that we have to select one 4 c1 multiplied by 5 black balls are there out of that we have to select 5 2 5 c2 but the point the important point you have to understand why we are multiplying all this so in order to understand that why we multiplied all this let's take two black balls are there two green ball two green balls are there if you you want to select two balls of different colors so out of these two you have to pick one out of these two you have to pick one so what's the combinations 2c1 out of these two if you want to pick one 2c1 out of these two if you want to pick one 2c1 why we are multiplying if you pick first black ball you may pick second uh, first green ball or second green ball if you pick second black ball you may pick first green ball or second green ball that's why we are multiplying see first black ball first green ball first black ball second green ball second black ball first green ball these are all the possibilities we have that's why here also we are multiplying 6 c1 out of 6 green balls we are picking one multiplied by out of four white balls we are picking one so if you multiply it all the combinations are there all the combinations are accepted multiplied by 5c2 this is the first event possibility what's the second event possibility one green two white one black 6c1 4c2 5c1 divided by 15c4 plus two green one white one black 6c2 4c1 5c1 divided by 15c4 this is what the total probability of uh, picking either at least all uh, in in our combinations of four four balls we should have all the colors should be there means green should be there white should be there black should be there at least one of them should be there these are all the possibilities hope you understand how to use the combinations concept in our probability in our next coming classes we are going to discuss about uh, independent and dependent events and conditional probability after that we are going to do some uh, complex examples based on combinations uh, if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the com uh, comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you